Hello there. Welcome to today's lesson. So today we shall be learning about a material. So we shall take a look at how uh, we can identify the uses of uh, everyday materials and also link their uses to their properties. So in basic two, we learned about the properties of uh, materials. Mat properties of ma uh, material describe how the material behaves. A material can be soft, it can be hard, it can be rough, it can be transparent or opaque. There are so many properties of materials in our communities. So we use different materials for different things. Some of these materials are wood, plastics, paper, fabric, leather, etc. The properties of materials help us to use them for the right. So let's take a look at some uses and properties of some common uh, materials. So the properties of a material determine what it can be used for. Cotton is used to make clothes because it is soft, tough and then durable. You cannot use paper to make a table because it is not what? Strong. We use different materials for different things because of their properties. So for instance, when we take wood, wood is a very strong uh, material and wood can be used for tables, chairs, beds, cupboards, and so on. We have another uh, material which is a uh, plastic. Plastic is used to make cups, chairs, buckets, straws, tables, plates, and the rest. Why are plastic or why is plastic used for these uh, items? Well, plastic is used in making these items because it is flexible, it is bendable, it is durable, strong, waterproof, and then it can be molded into different uh, shapes. So, we have things like the plate, the chair, the cup, the bucket, we have plastic tables, and so on. We also have uh, papers or paper. So papers are used to make books, wrappers, envelopes, paper bags, and then uh, tissues because they are soft, smooth, light, flexible, and so on. So we make uh, things like uh, wrappers, paper bags, books, and tissues out of uh, paper. Also, we have Metal. Metals are used to make coal pots, tables, chairs, cars, cutlasses, utensils, and then roofing sheets because they are strong, durable, hard, shiny, malleable, waterproof, and sometimes uh, they are good conductors of heat. So that is uh, another uh, material metal so we use metal in making some of these things because it is what very hard strong and durable so we can use the metal in making things like the chair utensils or cooking utensils car parts airplane parts and so on ship parts uh, coal pots table cutlasses we also have leather so leather is also another material which can be used in making shoes, bags, uh, furniture, that is the coverings of uh, furniture, and then car seats or the coverings of uh, car seats. They can be used in making belts because they are what? Flexible, tough, durable, and then smooth and soft. So we can make things like the bell shoe and then the box out of uh, leather. We also have another material which is a uh, cotton. Cotton is used in making uh, dresses, pillows and then uh, fabric because it is soft. 
uh, bendable, flexible, and also durable. So cotton can be used in making things like the singlet, dresses, pillows, and then uh, fabrics. And then we have uh, clay. Clay is also used to make earthenware, water pot, earthen bowl, statue, cooking pots, bricks, because they can be what? Molded into different what shapes and then sizes. It is sticky, it has a fine texture, and also has the ability to retain water. It is strong when it is dry. So these are some of the things that uh, we can use uh, to, or we can use clay to make. So we can make things like the earthenware, the water pot or the vase, the bricks, the clay statue and others using the clay. Good, so now we realize that some materials uh, can be put together to make an object so here you realize that we can use two or more materials to make a particular object so in the previous lesson we learned how properties of a material determine or determine their uses however some things are made of more than one material so when we take a cutlass for instance a cutlass is made of metal which is the blade the blade is made of what metal and then the handle is made of wood so the properties of materials help us to combine them to make different objects and devices so materials are combined to make useful things for our needs so when we take the football as well football is made of leather fabric and then a rubber valve a sharpener is also made of a plastic and then the metal. A bag is made of leather and then a metallic zip. A pencil is made of wood, graphite and then rubber. A kettle is made of metal and then plastic. A table is made of wood and then you have some nails in there as well. A rice cooker is made of metal, plastic and then a glass. We have a pen drive being made out of what? Uh, plastic and then metal. And then we have the computer as well. You realize that parts of the computer are made of plastic, parts are made of uh, glass, and then some parts are made of uh, metal. And then a mobile phone, some parts are made of metal, some parts are made of plastic, and some parts are made of glass as well. And also, some objects are made of only one material. So some objects are made of only one material. So let's take a look at some objects which are made of a single material or just one material. So when we take a basin, it's made of a plastic. An eraser is made of only rubber. A table is either made of a plastic or wood. A chair is made of either plastic wood or metal a pot is made of uh, clay a shirt is also made of fabric good so today we've been able to identify some materials and also their uh, uses all right so this brings us to the end of the lesson